Hello all and welcome to another one of Mr A's online video lessons. Today we're going to be looking at using Flat.io. Flat.io provides free online musical score writing software, which like BandLab can be accessed wherever you are in the world. We use BandLab to write our own songs, but BandLab does not have a score writing function. So if you want to print out the sheet music from your song to give it to real life musicians to play, we'll have to use Flat.io instead. Firstly, open up your web browser and type flat.io in the address bar at the top of the page. It is worth making sure that we have the UK version of the site, so do click on the little flag in the top right here and change that to UK before clicking sign in. Now I'm going to click sign in with Google to use my normal school email and password. And now that I'm logged in, I can see all of my classes and I'm just going to click new score up in the top right corner here. Flat will ask you to name your song and will then ask you which instruments you want to write for. For today, I'm just going to add a grand piano track. If you add an instrument by mistake, just click on the minus icon on the right here and it will delete it off again. You can always add more instruments later, but for today we just want a grand piano track, so I'm just going to click create. You can skip past the next few pop-up windows as I'm going to explain what we need to do. So. Press pause now and log into flat, then create a blank grand piano score. Today we're going to ask you to recreate one of the examples from our last lesson. You can see that this example starts with a few bars of semi-briefs on the note C, then two bars of minims, then crotchets, and then the pitch starts to change. Do remember that we can use every green bus drives fast to give us the names of the pitches that are on the stave lines. And we can use the word face to remind us of the pitches that sit in the gaps between the lines of the stave. The first thing I'm gonna do is change the tempo for my song by clicking on the metronome mark here and quickly changing it from 80 BPM to 60, then clicking save so my song plays a little slower. You can see the empty bar here has four crotchet rests in it already, but the first notes I want to use are semi-briefs. So when I click on semi-briefs at the top here, my four crotchet rests will change to a single semi-brief rest at the bottom instead. Now I'm going to click my mouse on the stave at the gap for C and a C semi-brief will appear. Flat will automatically create a new blank bar for me to work on, so I'm going to add my next C semi-brief here. The next two bars of the example are filled with C minims. So if I click on the minim icon at the top, you'll see a minim rest appear in my next blank bar, along with two crotchet rests. Remember, semi-briefs last for four beats, minims last for two beats, and crotchets last for only one. So here I have a two beat rest and two one beat rests, totaling my four beats for the bar. I'm now going to click to add my C minims for the next two bars. If you accidentally click the wrong pitch by mistake, you can just click on the note and drag it up or down to where you want it to be. If you want to scroll around the song, you can use your cursor keys on your computer keyboard. So I'm gonna hit left here to take my cursor back to the start and then press the play button up in the top left. Before I do that, I'm going to click on the metronome to switch it on. And then you can hear your song playing back with the metronome click as it plays. Click again here to switch the metronome off. Pause now and add the first few bars of semi-briefs and minims. Okay, so the last note length I used was a minim. So my blank bar here shows a minim rest and two crotchet rests. I want to write instead in crotchets now. So when I click on the crotchet icon at the top, you'll see my rest change down below accordingly. Next, I'm going to add one bar of C crotchets. After that, my crotchets continue, but the pitch starts to change. This next bar goes C, D, C, C, and the next bar is C, D, E, D. 
and so on. Pause now and complete the next eight bars of crotchets. When I get to bar 13 now, I'm going to have to switch back to semi-breeze for this high G note that sits right on the top of my stave. I'm going to add two bars of this high G semi-breathe and then switch it back to crotchets again. Pause now and complete the next four bars. At bar 17, I'm going to have the high G semi-breathe again and then I'm going to change the rhythm up a bit more. So bar 18, has a high G crotchet on beat one. Then on beat two, I have a high A crotchet, which sits on the first ledger line above the stave. And then there's another high G crotchet on beat three of the bar. And for the last beat of bar 18, I want to include a rest. So I'll click on quaver at the top here, and you'll see my crotchet rest split into two quaver rests. I'll use my right cursor key on the keyboard to move over one note, and then I'm going to click to add a quaver to the top F line on my stave, leaving that little quaver rest just before it. You should now find that you can continue to add the rest of the melody using what we've learned so far. Again, I'm going to use my left cursor to rewind everything back to the start and hit the play button to listen back. It's always good to have the metronome on so you can tap your foot in time with the beat as you listen. Pause now and finish off the melody. How to save your work. Before I'm completely finished with my score, I'm going to add my name to it by clicking on the file name in the top left corner here and then adding my own surname into the composer box before clicking save. You can add other information here later on too, if you need to. Once you've done this, you'll see your save history thingy here, update, and you can click share to share a link. But today I'm going to ask you to create and download a PDF file instead. Simply click on the download icon and then click printable PDF. You do have the choice here to download MP3s or WAV files or MIDI files, etc. But don't worry about that today. Just click printable PDF and then click export. Flat will now take a moment to export the file and you'll see it download into your downloads folder in the bottom left corner as usual. Once you have this PDF, you can print it out, you can email it or upload it to the Google Classroom, etc. Pause now and download the PDF of your score. And finally, if you manage to complete this task quickly and easily, please feel free to try recreating another one of the examples from last week or try to write something original of your own. That's all for now, so enjoy!